left turn. Hazard. Hello, hello, dear viewers. Welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. In our previous video, we have looked at the terminal identification for the turn signal and hazard warning light uh, wires. We did have a terminal identification of uh, the terminals and we marked all the color codes and we did identify the different terminals. For example, the green black goes to the left turn lamps. The green white goes to the, it's a line coming from the flasher terminal L. Green brown is a line coming from the battery. Green yellow is a line going to the right turn signals and green blue is a line coming from the ignition switch so that the turn signal switch is powered by the ignition on position and finally we have the green terminal that goes to the flasher terminal B. Now based on this identification we are going to connect wiring diagram for this. We are going to use these two lamps, these two as a left blinker rights and these two, this and this we are going to use as the right turn signals. We will be doing the connection based on the terminals that are already identified in this chart. If you haven't watched how terminals of the turn signal and the hazard warning lights are identified, please go to this video. I will leave the link in the description and you can uh, refer how the terminals can be identified. Now in today's video, we are going to do electrical connection of all these lamps and we will see how they are operated by the hazard switch and the turn signal switch. Let's do the connection. Now let's begin our construction of the circuit by connecting all the ground terminals to one line. Let's connect all of the ground lines together. We will be doing a parallel connection. This is a ground line for the left. And from here, let's connect it to this ground line. Terminal 31 represents the battery negative line. They are all ground lines. From here, let's connect it to this line. And finally, we will be connecting this line to battery negative. Now, as you can see, the negative terminal of all the four turn signals here, they are connected in parallel. So we will finally connect this line to battery negative. Now let's proceed to connecting the left turn signal positive lines together and the right turn signal positive lines together. For the left, I will be using this yellow line. Let's say this is front turn signal lamp. And right here, we have the blinker. Let's say this is for the rear. This one is for the rear and this one is for the front. So now I can connect this line, which is connected in parallel to the turn signal switch that is going to the left run, the left signal. Let's do the same for the right side. Let's connect this blinker light to the positive here. And I'll also connect, draw a line that goes to the turn signal switch. So the brown line is going to the turn signal switch for right turn. Now based on the terminal identification that we did in last previous video, left turn signal is powered from the green black. So the left signal, which is yellow line in our case, this yellow line will be connected to green black. We'll be connecting this to the green black right here. And based on the diagram that we did previously, the right turn signal is powered from the green yellow. So the right turn signal will be connected to the green yellow, which is right this one. So the green yellow goes to the right turn signals and this goes to the left turn signals. Let's do the connection. Now, as you can see, connection has been made. Green black is connected to the yellow line. Yellow line is the power supply to the left turn signal lamps. And this line, the green yellow line is connected to the right side turn signal lamps. Now we have connected four of the wires. We are left with now we have connected two of the wires and we are left with four wires. 
Now when we look at the remaining circuits, based on our previous chart, there is a line coming from terminal L of the flasher. This green white, green white is a line coming from the flasher of L terminal. So the flasher has three terminals. There is terminal L, load terminal, and also there is a terminal B that is connected to the pure green. So pure green goes to the flasher B, and green white is going to flasher L. Let's do those connections. Here we have the flasher. It's an electronic type flasher. We have terminal L here. I don't know if it is visible. We have terminal L here, the blue line. And uh, the rest are terminal B and terminal L. This one is terminal B. You can see it is encrypted on the surface. And this small line is terminal E. So we will be connecting this to battery negative. We will be connecting this to the green line. And we will be connecting the upper one to the green white. So terminal L of the flasher is to be connected to green white. Right here we have green white. We will be connecting this terminal L to the green white. We are doing just a temporary connection, but if you are doing it on your vehicle, please make sure that you insulate all the connections and uh, do a very tidy and neat connection. So now terminal L, terminal L of the flasher is connected to green white. And then based on the diagram, there is a line that is going to the flasher B terminal, this green line. This pure green line is going to the flasher B. Flasher B is right here. This is flasher B. So I will be connecting this to the green line, which goes to flasher B terminal. Now we are left with only two lines remaining. These two lines, one goes to the IG and one goes to battery positive. The green brown is going to battery positive and the green blue is going to IG based on our diagram. We previously said that there is a blue green line that comes from the ignition switch. That is basically to power the turn signal switch. So it is a green blue line coming from the ignition. And there is a line coming from the battery and that gets connected to the green brown. Even though the ignition switch is turned off, hazard warning lights are operated directly from the battery. That is to be connected from green brown. So let's do those connections. So right here, this is a line coming from battery positive. I will be connecting this battery positive to the green brown. Green brown right here is a terminal that is being connected to the hazard warning light. Hazard warning is powered directly from the battery. So this is battery positive. This is battery positive. It is connected in such a way. And this is a line coming from the ignition switch IG terminal. That is going to power the turn signal lamps. For, for the time being, let's see the operation of the hazard. And then we will connect this and uh, see operation of the turn signals as well. Now we are left with connecting battery ground to the entire circuit. Here the flasher, it has to be grounded. Let's do a connection for that. Let's do ground connection for the flasher. Let's put this in here. And let's connect this flasher negative right here. Now the flasher is connected to battery negative. Now we will take this entire battery negative cable. This is a battery negative cable. And we connect it to the battery negative terminal right here. Now the connection is almost done. We are left only with the ignition IG line that is powering the turn signal lamps. As you can see, all the lines are connected. The left and right turn signal lamps are connected. We have connected all the signal switch lines based on the charts that we have constructed in our previous video. The only thing that is left is the green blue, which is coming from the ignition switch. The ignition switch will be powered by the battery. And when the ignition switch is turned on, it will power the turn signal lamps. Now let's turn on the power supply and see operation of the hazard circuit. Let's supply it with battery. Battery is turned on. See, battery is on. Now let's turn on the hazard switch.
So as you can see, the hazard is now working just fine. So this is how the hazard circuit is operated. As you can see, it is not connected from the ignition switch, rather it is connected to the battery directly. So it is powered by the battery, directly from the battery. Now, let's do that remaining construction of the ignition line, a line coming from the ignition switch. This is a line coming from the ignition switch. And instead of connecting the entire to the ignition switch, let's give battery supply to this IG and disconnect the hazard and then we will see as you can see now for example when the turn signal switch is operated there is no signal coming there is no signal coming when turn is operated when I activate the turn signal lamps as you can see there is nothing is coming on look left and right turn nothing is happening now let's see let's power this and see the change now I have connected the line coming from the ignition switch. This is a green blue, just connected similar to the one coming from the battery. This is battery terminal and this is IG terminal. I have connected it. Now see the difference. Let's turn, let's operate the turn signal switch. See, now it's functional. Let's turn it off. Turn right. Turn it off. Right turn. Off, left turn, hazard. Well, dear viewers, this is all we have for you in this presentation. If you like the video, please smash the like button. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and turn on notifications so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another, another video. Until then, stay safe.